driver. You should be committed, but obviously somebody let him out too early. Uh, welcome to my stream again. This is where I'm actually doing a series called Taking on Goliath. And I'm racing all my cars on Goliath. They're all lightly modified. No engine internals done, just airbox and exhaust. And, and everything else like that. And what I'm doing is I'm just pitting each car up against each other to where I can actually control them because I have the racing ability of a common house plant. I'm working up to Rosebush, but I'm still a shrub right now, so I'm working on it. All right, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm at Goliath, and right now I'm doing the Ariel Atom cars. What I want to do first is go here to Progress, click that. Now, why did that come up? Okay. All right, uh, okay, yeah, that's why I forgot. Skill Shop, derp. Eh. It's uh, daylight savings time over here in the U.S. I'm still trying to recover from it. I overslept. So what we want to do here is go to Skill Shop. That's what you want. Go to Skills. What you want to do is follow the cursor up to the upper left. Click on that. That will cost you 10 points. But it unlocks and it gives you triple skill XP for the next three races. So for the next three cars... You're going to get three times the XP at the end of the race. Or during the race, it just gives you triple XP as you make them. I guess that's how you do it. But it's well worth it. If you could do that, please do. And if you also do this one, which I just might do right now, click that one, and that will give you double the credits for just one race. So I can only afford to do this once so many often times I race. Today I'm just doing it just to show you how it's done. So, let's see. I'm already here at the race, getting ready to get started. And show you how to start the race with your own cars. Do is click on Exhibition and go to Goliath. How you open Goliath is you got, I believe, I could be wrong here. You have to have all your festivals set up to level 5 first. Then I'll open up Goliath or... Now, I could be mistaken here. Just Byron Bay, um, the festival, up to level 5, and that opens up Goliath. I'm not sure. I'm not certain. I think you have to have all the festivals up to level 5 first before it opens up the big track. I think that's how it is, but I've heard some of the people say different. I could be mistaken. I don't know. Well, nonetheless, here's Goliath Circuit. Open this up. Click here. Let the game fully load in. You're on the first one here. This is one that I actually made. One, two, three. This is Don Joe Wan Song's Glad series that he set up. Anything goes. Click here. And guess what? You get all your cars in your garage. Not the factory ones they give you at the festival to race. Because most of my cars are all-wheel drive. They've been converted to all-wheel drive just so I could handle them better on the course. And these next two cars, the Ariel Atom Nomad and the Ariel Atom V8. That V8 is a 979. I had to make that all-wheel drive. Otherwise, I'd be just doing donuts on the course and nothing would get done. So, without further ado, I'm going to get started on these two Atoms. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. But you see, that's the fun part of this stream. You're going to see me fail. <laughs> And whether I fail or not, or fail badly, or burst into flames and throw my car across three different sections of the track, it's going to go on YouTube. So I'm not going to edit anything out. If I do good, I do good. Everybody sends cheers and flowers and all that. If I do bad, I am going to fail. So let's enjoy this race together. Let's hope I can do this track at least once and make myself look like I actually know what I'm doing. And hello, got a viewer here. One here finally. I want to say hi to you. Welcome to the stream. If you want to say hi, say hi. I'll know who you are. But if not, just kick back and enjoy. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm far from it. But again, that's the fun part of the stream. I'm admitting I'm not a professional. Hey, Virus. Hello, buddy. How are you? I was just watching your streams and just explaining to all the audience who's going to watch it from YouTube. 
that I was actually watching Sound Virus's videos, his streams. He was racing a Ford. Oh, there you go. There's your first failed race. Um, I was actually watching Sound video streaming, and this guy's amazing. He is. He was racing a Ford GT. Not only on Goliath. Oh, I missed that. Oh, come on. Let me get to it. Damn it. Um, yeah, you're going to see me fail a lot. Um, I was actually watching him race a Ford GT on Goliath. And not only was he doing well, he was doing the stream well. He's doing times around 9, 10 minutes. And the roadway was wet. So he was racing it after the rain had come through. The whole track was wet. This guy's sticking to the track like glue. I could I was amazed. I was like, buddy, I cannot match that ability. Not for at least another year of racing on this. So my hat is off to you. My hands are off to you. You know, waving to you. You know, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. You know, I ought to be coming to you for advice. So, anyway, and welcome to my channel. I do appreciate it. Next time, brand new to streaming. Just been doing this for about two weeks to, uh, yeah, thanks for the flowers. <laughs> exactly. Uh, they're not dead roses or anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I just made a friend here and one of the few friends I would race with, no problem. Believe me, I, if there's any advice I could give, just say make the channel fun, just what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm going to fail, but you see, that's the little niche that I'm going after. Yeah, thumbs up, no problem. I actually have the uh, chat window when you're doing streaming here in Mixer, when you're streaming your your chats. I have the window actually on the middle of the screen, on the top. Because if I have it on the right-hand side, when I'm trying to copy down the race times that I get for each car that I use, I use one car, a different car each race. So it's not like I'm getting used to the car and used to how it performs, how it accelerates or handles. But of course, I get better like that. I'm just going through each car, you know, as it comes. So believe me, I'm still learning. And each race is going to be different. Yeah, but that was the bridge I was telling you about right there. When I was first starting out, I didn't know what I was doing. Well, I still kind of don't. Um, I would find myself slamming into the left side of the bridge or going all the way under the bridge. <laughs> and I you was know, sitting there in days like, what the hell happened? So yeah, uh, I'm slowly learning this course. I do enjoy this course. It's a great course. Besides, it shows you how well the cars perform as you're driving them on this course. Of course, no changes. It's just the cars always do. It. And see, I gotta get used to this because yeah, I could do it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Whoa, get off those trees. See, my thing is, I always have a hard time overcompensating through turns. Then I usually send my car into a tailspin that I can't really get out of. So I'm just getting used to it. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Yeah, I've been playing this game for about a month now. Just about a month, I guess. And, yeah, there's a big blazer right there, a big Chevrolet blazer. And, thankfully, I have a very understanding wife. She's the one actually bought the Xbox for me. Beautiful Southern Belle Blonde, I might add. She's my best friend. I have a 13-year-old daughter that loves the game as well. She plays uh, World of Tanks as well, and she's quite good at it. I just wish there was a way I could see the other tankers' faces when they find out that their tanks just got smeared by a 13-year-old little girl, so, which is funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. But yeah, I did race Forza 1 and 2 before, and you know, the uh, previous Horizons, which I really enjoyed. But that was on my old Xbox 360, and that had actually died of old age. It just basically fell apart. I was gameless for about two years. I was grumpy. I was moping everywhere, and my wife's like, I can't see it like this anymore, Skunk. So she put it on her charge card and she went on the limb for me and bought me the Xbox, which I am eternally grateful for. So I'm going to have to give her foot rubs for the next five years, which I'm going to make sure I do. <laughs> and now she's over here on the couch just looking at me funny and shaking her, shaking her head. But yeah, it's a new little project I'm working on. 
you know, just to make a good stream, good channel, entertaining, kind of funny for everybody. So that's that's my thing I'm doing now. I also do have a Patreon page. So if you want to support me on Patreon, if you do that, there's rewards you can get. And if you do support me on Patreon, you decide you're going to start helping pay for the channel, you get to join me in stream, in race, and you get to make the rules. Oh, thank you for the great fun on there, Virus Buddy. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I only have a handful of followers, but we're slowly coming in, you know, because nobody knows about me yet. I'm still very new to uh, streaming. I'm not like Don Joe on song. Or anything. That guy is just phenomenal. But, you know, I do appreciate every single one of your followers. I always try and race with them whenever I can, and I just really appreciate it. Now, all these cars are lightly modded, where I only have you know, the airbox, the exhaust system, maybe a bit cooling going on, but no internals. Not to make the car run faster, you know, like bigger pistons or better cams or anything like that. No, they're just running stock out of the factory. I just added all wheel drive and maybe exhaust system to make them run a little bit better, and so I can actually control them. So that's what I do, is I just, may make them all like about as even level as I can like a level playing field so that my abilities are fully tested and believe me they are being fully tested right now so. I thought this little aerial sand dragger would be a little bit out of its element but it's doing pretty good for uh, for being a, uh, a sand racer if I was able to race on the open you know, sand and open ground like, you know, instead of the track here I'd be ripping these guys a new one but I can't really say that because it's a family friendly channel but you know what I mean now right here at this part of the course you have to slow down because if you don't set yourself up for these turns they'll come back around and bite you in the ass yeah these, especially these next two turns these are very, very difficult for me. Because either you'll overcompensate, slide into the trees on the left, or you'll go into the off the hill on the right. And I'm making a mistake. I think that's a Chrysler 300C in front of me or 300 Hemi in front of me. Those are nice cars. I like those a lot. I actually prefer more uh, muscle cars, cars like the Mustang and the Challenger and everything. And if I get my retirement going, I want to actually get a Challenger. Not the Hellcat, not the Demon. No, no, they're way too expensive for me. I would just prefer the 392 Challengers. That's good enough for me. There we go. I think that was a Cobra Daytona I just passed. Another very nice car. I think I just tapped that flag, so I'm okay. Coming up for two of my favorite turns here in game. Well, one of them, it might be after this bridge coming up. Where you just basically side the whole car around without bashing into the guy's rear end like that. That's a fail. But yeah, the two turns coming up are after this hard left that you take. Do the sign? Like I said, if there's a way I can do this channel, I'm actually copying a lot of what Fail Race does. Ah, oh, right there. And I actually looked away where I was on the on the map, and that's where I that's where I feel. Oh yeah, the sounds are great. I, I love hearing the different cars, the different sounds, the exhaust, 
One thing about the Ford GT that you were racing earlier, sound virus, was when the engine was decelerating and you didn't have your hand on the, your foot on the gas, it would burble and down and shift and it would pop and it really sounded good. I really like how that sounded. That's one thing I love the car sounds. I love the car exhaust. You know, not too loud, but it just makes the sound good. Yeah, especially the Alfa Romeros, the 8Cs, the 4Cs. Uh, the hypercars to me are really nice, but I'm just a little bit afraid of them because I don't want to race above my abilities and just make a complete nuisance of myself. And I go slamming into that, that uh, I think it's Audi in front of me. I don't know. But yeah, I, I just love all the different cars on here. That's a gorgeous car too. I was looking at one of those as well. See, I come from an old muscle car family, you know, an American family here in Philadelphia. My brother Mike used to restore Pontiac GTOs before he became a police officer. My dad had old Dodge Chargers when he was a police officer. My mom had Pontiac Le Mans's, and even my sister had a Mustang Cobra. And she wasn't really into cars anyway. And me, I've had practically one of everything, you know, cheap uh, hot rods like Novas and El Caminos and maybe a Mustang here and there. Nothing too spectacular, but hey, it was enough for me and my family, my wife and my 13-year-old daughter. Right now, I'm trying the minivan, go figure. But I have plans of getting something better. I do. And all goes down to how good the car sounds, because some cars would sound good with new exhaust system on, some sound good enough just by stock, you know, by having stock exhaust systems on. Bunk. Sorry, Mr. Mustang. Gotta get around you. But yeah, my wife and my daughter loves cars as well. We will always go to car shows. And admire everybody else's hard work and keeping the cars all restored, looking gray, and just listening to them drive away. And even sometimes on a Sunday, we would go to the local car dealer, look at all their nice cars and shiny Mercedes, Audis, VWs, and Fords, and all that. There's something about every car I do like. I really don't have a preference, but if you ask me what kind of car is my favorite, I don't know if I could even tell you which one I like, because I like something about every single one. Ugh, I kept myself away from those houses. A couple times before I would take my cars on this track and be going way too fast for that long right hand corner there, I end up slamming into somebody's house. That was really embarrassing, I tell you. You can see coming up right here on the beach, and if you plant just right, you'll go flying past these guys. Because they're rear wheel driving. Obviously, my little aerial is all wheel drive. And that's where your advantage is. I think I only breathed like three times during this match. I'm like really into it. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Yeah, look, I avoided those rocks. <laughs> Got sheer luck there, my friend. Sheer luck. New skill involved there. You gotta stay out of the water here, or it'll pull you over just like it did to me right there. That might ruin your whole race. Oh, yeah, I agree. The V8 and the V10s do sound a lot better. The Viper V10s, when they first came out. Gorgeous, gorgeous sounds. Even the Ram truck V10s, the the Viper trucks, they really sounded good. Now, why did I slow down right there, right before the the flag? I should have kept going. I thought I was through the flags already. But let me copy down the time here for the aerial and see if I did better or not. I think I actually did pretty good on that one. The aerial nomad. Last round, I got in the 15:48. And see, what I'm doing here is I'm doing a lot of my older cars that I did in other streams. I tried uploading the long streams to YouTube, 
in my tablet, I have my Android tablet, it would get frustrated, it would stop working, it would not upload videos because they were just so long. So I had to break up the videos and redo them again. So, right here it's 14.30. No, 14.35, my mistake. What am I doing? See, I'm trying to cheat the time here. I'm being very dishonest here. <laughs> 1435, 142. Hey, not bad for a 50 year old man, huh? <laughs> Actually, I used to be a professional driver. I used to drive trucks for a living for eight years and drove different cars for different companies. I drove armored cars for a couple of years. I've driven delivery trucks, every kind of thing you could imagine. I have about 640,000 miles under my belt. No accidents or tickets ever, and I unfortunately had to stop driving in 2012 because I had gotten hurt. So I'm right now trying to get my disability going through Pennsylvania. It's been six years, still nothing yet. And also right here where you see perk bonus, 19,000. That's that bonus that you click on before the race. The one that gives you triple points and that's what helps you level up that much faster so just want to get that let's see if the wheel will give me a car or a very cheap ass spin if it hits a bright pink button y'all cheap well i'll take 20 grand i'll take that no it's not cheap rachel it's not you might hear my daughter rachel there in the background she likes you know yelping up and yelling something into the mic now and then but yeah i'll take that and now it's going to be the hard one. <laughs> the very difficult Ariel Adam V8. Whoo boy, you're going to be in for a ride. All right, let's get this set up here. Well, before that, let me just double check. Make sure that all my settings are good. You know, right here to progress. The skill shop. Click that. What you going to do is do skills. And right here, follow the cursor to right here always click that that'll get your xp up a lot but since i can't afford the other one right now i only use up all my xp all my star points or whatever they call them i'm just going to keep that one highlighted so i get the xp so what you want to do here is go here to set up event click that go to exhibition click that now that's one that I did earlier, uh, going up against Goliath and the Subaru Brat. That's when I first actually opened up the Goliath track and I used my XP Horizon Edition Subaru Brat and I raced five laps on that sucker, you know, just to get used to it. I love it. All right, and what you wanna do is go here one, two over, and this is Don Joan Song's Goliath. The ending goes, click on that. And it opens up your garage, not the stock garage from Forza. So what you want to do is go here through my cars. Actually, this car I'm going to do later on. I just got it last night. But I don't want to interrupt the continuum, the line of cars that I started before I got that car. I will use that one later. Yeah, just give me a chance. But this one, this one is giving me fright. I, mean, I am scared of this car, so I will try. <laughs> yes, I'll race ultimate car. Yes. And I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> I'm, I might do it better blindfolded. I don't know. This car is really scary to me. But I'm being honest. All right. My last time on here was actually 12 minutes, 42 seconds, and 7.28. So let's see if I could somehow match that. <laughs> I'm praying. I'm doing the cross over my chest. I'm praying, God, please help me get through this race in one piece. But usually I keep these streams at about 45 minutes. Then I shut them down for about five minutes, let it reset, then I'll start a new stream. So that way it'll be easier for me to download onto YouTube. Oh, another friend of mine's online. Hello? Alright, let's start the race. Alright. Let's 
asked me a Porsche 930 in front of me. And 989 are one of those nice cars. Sergeant in the Marines, he had told me a while ago when he got me into these Forza, Forza games, don't go after the high, high performance cars like the Lamborghini and the Ferrari just yet. Learn on the lesser powered cars till you get good with them, then move your way slowly up. That way your abilities will match the cars when you get to them. But I guess I'm just putting that, that advice right out the window with this series. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fail, <laughs> but hey, that's the fun part. I'm going to try and keep it at a little, slightly less than the same pace going up these really tight corners up here in this section of the track. I'm going to hold my breath. Yeah, that Porsche is beautiful. I'm trying to see what car that is in front of me. I think that's a Ferrari, but that's that looks like one of my favorite cars up there, just for looks supercar looks they just look amazing i have been a fan of porsche before as i was growing up i really like the 911s and the 914s and also i had a beautiful white 914 i really liked but sadly there are only two seaters and if i were trying to get one now i wouldn't be able to because i have to have a seat for my daughter in the back so maybe the porsche cayenne might work or the porsche panamera those are gorgeous cars. I like those. But if not, hey, I might get a VW Beetle and put a, a, a Porsche engine in that. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I'm just really weird that way. See, there's that bridge again. Got to really get that brakes before you slam into the left side of that bridge. See, I'm learning. Virus, I'm not quite up to your level yet, so you're probably there watching this stream going, Turn, skunk, turn! Go faster! You can go a lot faster! <laughs> you're probably like screaming at me right now to race better. <laughs> you're probably like cringing. Oh my god, the skunk is so terrible! <laughs> but hey, I do what I can. I'm just racing to the best of my ability. But hey, if I fail, that's the fun part. There's another GT40, and that's Skyline Dragon, his AI. He's a very good friend of mine as well. I've known him from uh, World of Tanks. Actually, we have one of his cars that he built, a Mitsubishi Lancer. It's rated at 939, I believe. The thing is an absolute monster. <laughs> I love that car. Ouch, ouch. Oh, I can't believe that guy did that. You see that? He just slammed me and sent me right off the track, right out of the, uh, right out past the signs. He, he just went right to my right side, sent me off the track, and I missed the signs. So now I gotta try and get back all the way in the first place now. Ugh, sad face. <laughs> but hey, I'm optimistic. My tea mug is half full. I'm good. Yeah, I'll catch up to him again. I have just caught the edge of that flag. I think I did, yeah. Come on, I gotta stay on track with this. Come on. We had this car sounds so nice. It's actually a V8, but I haven't heard of V8 with uh, revs that up to eight or nine grand. It might be a flat crank, flat cam or flat crank V8 like the Ferraris might have. I think that's how to do it. Either that or the, I think the new Mustang uh, GT350 has the uh, flat plane crank in it where it sounds a lot more exotic. <laughs> okay, can I step on it? All right, it's fully floored now. Let me get the acceleration up. 
There we go. Now it's climbing. Yeah, you're right. This car does sound really good. It's pinned. As you see, I really enjoy painting these cars this shade of blue. It's actually one of my favorite colors that I have. Just my little touch for the cars I got, you know. Alright, here comes the long sweeper and... There we go. I found be sliding around that curve, but I guess not. I'm currently holding my breath. <laughs> A good slide there. It's semi out of control. <laughs> yeah, open the wings and fly. Point me to the nearest danger zone. I'll do just that after the race. Yeah, I'll see how far I can make this. Oh, ouch. That hurt. That hurt my ribs. <laughs> hey, Skunk, let's see how many more times you can fail on this race. Huh? Oh, get on the road. Get on the road. There we go. Oh, oh, I knew I was going to hit that pretty hard. Come on, Blazer. Got to get out of my way, please. In this race, I'm really fighting for it. Ah, come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if I can put something together pretty exciting here. All right, my foot is pinned through the floor. And into the pavement. I think I took a breath from him after about two minutes straight. Now right there, how the engine sounds right there. Perfect. That's that's like music to me right there. Not too loud, not too raspy, not too popping. Now this part of the track is really quick, but the turns are a little tricky. Let's see if I can get through them well.
I tell you, go try this or I'll add on your stream there. Uh, virus. See how you like it. And light bunk. But see, uh, you could hear my voice fine and everything, but you could still hear the game, right? I think I left you a note on how to adjust your game volume settings for the stream. I really hope that helps you. Good despite the fails. That's what happened to me before. The water took me around. Oh, it did the same thing to me. Oh. Okay, good, good. This it sounds good to you. Hey, Wednesday night, how are you? Tenth place. Oh, that game was hard. <laughs> that race was difficult. Wow. But despite all the crashing and everything, I still pulled a 1254. 1254. Let's see. Uh, well, 1259. Okay. Uh, 313. I only missed my best time by about 12 seconds. Actually, uh, you can join. It's just that to join my stream here, if you want to, you want to pay Patreon, and I'll get a notice when you do. And because I have things set up that will help pay for the channel and if you want to join you know, donate to the channel first but if I'm not streaming I'll be more than happy to join you in the game and like I said I'm gonna end the stream here for about five minutes let it reset okay Winsome thank you for following and uh, tell you what during uh, between streams I'll come into the game itself add me as a friend me and Sound Virus and win uh, some night. We could all join together. And we, I won't be streaming, but we'll just game together a little bit if you want. That's fine by me. No problem. All right. Let me just get all my points here. See how well I did. That aerial atom is so fast it's frightening. <laughs> I admit it. I was really scared during that race. You probably tell because I was talking a hell of a lot more, a hell of a lot faster, and I was just trying to keep myself distracted enough where it wouldn't phase me too much. Yes, I'll be more than happy to take that Corvette ZR1. Yes. Alright, 40 grand. The wheel didn't cheap on me this time. Okay. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I want to stop the stream. I want to go into the game, and if you want to join me once some night and sound virus in the game itself without me streaming, I'll be more than happy to. 
but if you do want to join me in stream click on my patreon page that's talked about in my channel here on mixer then i'll bring in my patreon page called double stripe racing and if you want subscribe to that i'll get a message saying you subscribed and you could join for like a little bit more you could be in the race in goliath with me or you could even tell me which cars to drive if you really want to do that or we could even open up goliath for five laps and you're in control it's just how much you want to pay how much you want to support the channel that's basically how i have it set up so if you want to join in stream it might cost you a couple bucks but i promise it's not that much but believe me every little bit helps all right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the stream now, join my friends in-game, but I'll be back later to stream more. All right, thank you very much, and have a good one.